reacts. Yes, yes, yes. It is I, George the Cloud, speaking to you directly, the viewer at home or wherever you may be. Today we are checking out Porter Robinson, Year of the Cup, official music video. Get ready, settle down, get comfortable. Why not get some popcorn, fill up your water, put your headphones on, on, on and let us view whatever he has to offer. goddamn business what's in the cup but it's a beautiful thing man but it's not a beautiful thing because nobody knows what's in the cup that's the whole thing unless you come up and drink what's in my cup then how can you say it's a beautiful thing also when people drink alcohol they react so whatever the hell was in my cup the only reaction i did was got more popular more successful did a lot more things that I've ever done. Picked up a guitar, learned how to play it, learned how to put on the auto tunes and stretch my voice. I probably should pick that cup back up. <laughs> Just before he starts singing, I know, uh, tense moment here. I appreciate how he makes his intros like really interesting, almost like a film. It's one of those, I don't even know how to call it, but you know what I'm saying? It's like when you hear the voice in the background with a little bit of a, of an effect that sounds like it's from a recording or something like that. It could be a message, you know, from a friend, from a relative saying something either like funny in this case important uh sad or or deep right it, it could be used in uh in those situations and the whole video here giving me like uh vhs tapes from the 90s effect as is usual for um uh, for uh robinson i think he likes to kind of go back to that era to me he reminds me of like something i would hear from the late 90s early 2000s now for the actual singing. I swore not to care, but on that night, I couldn't help it. I took out all of my shame on a random guy who probably liked me. And that night, it was the obvious first time you were disappointed. Viewer discretion is advised. Uh -huh. Something's in the air like vanilla. I got on my Facebook and that time I had the courage to call her and tell her that I loved her. I guess that screaming at my audience works and everyone likes it. I dream. Cause my mind keeps ringing with the times that I laid out Everything wrong with me up on stage It's embarrassing, fuck you You don't deserve me, the bus went totally silent And help me, was what I meant to say as I gnashed my teeth right in front of you He always has these like run-on sentences in a singing way that 
almost have like no transition he goes from one idea to the next like he just did here uh you don't deserve me the bus went to you know what i'm saying it's like there's no connection he just he just goes he continues man there oh, you know what i'll just i'll leave you guys hanging i'll i'll, I'll say more commentary at the end because i don't want to keep pausing it that is unlike me totally silent and help me Cause what i meant to say is i gnashed my teeth right in front of you yeah, I kind of put the cup down for a minute, but um, ain't nothing in the cup right now but some wine. I drank Doce. That's about it. That's the only thing in the cup right now. But honestly, I asked you if I never change, would you love me? Expecting the negative, clever, turning the question around to me was obvious hate. This version of me that was safe and sanitized thoroughly You think you'll let people down and define some perfect apology The answer was obvious The answer was obvious The answer was obvious Answer was obvious. What's in the cup? Is it really none of my goddamn business? Tell me, what's in the cup? And nobody gets hurt. Um, he has such a youthful voice. Uh, an eternal teenager. Isn't Porter Robinson like 34? I think we looked this up the other day. Or not the other day, but the last time I researched him. However, first things first. We hit the like. I am already subscribed. And I'll have a link of the original video down in the description below. 32. From Georgia atlanta or no but atlanta georgia yeah he's he's 32 and he sounds to me exactly like a teenager it could also be the hair the way he dresses it just brings me back to like when i was in high school for some reason it, it's some you know like one of my friends from high school and the way he's just kind of uh, chill about it relaxed like comfortable with the with the uh with the hoodie and the hat it just reminds me of like somebody i would have seen in class back in high school um what can i say about this song cup of the oh year of the cup i don't know how many times they said cup throughout this video but it was a lot of course the theme of the video completely unrelated but i think whenever i hear the word cup I think um, about two girls, one cup. Sorry to bring back uh, those memories. If you know, you know. If you if you haven't seen that video, uh, consider yourself lucky. Don't. But uh, yeah, just listening to you know him saying like, "What's in the cup?" The cup, uh, all the time. Cup. I'm thinking about you know a little bit of like that video, but um, there's something like can't put my my finger on it about porter robinson it's almost like whenever you have those geniuses that are on the cusp of being crazy like borderline not making any sense pushing the limits i feel like that's him he's really like stretching it stretching what we can like consider like is this uh, like, is this good or is this crazy? Is what I'm trying to gather. I don't know. I don't know how to... Do you guys know what I mean? It's like, of course I know he's really good, but that's the whole point. Sometimes, to me, what he says doesn't make sense in the order he says it. It's just very random. But I know he's doing it deliberately. 
like he has a point similar to you know the uh dilemma that you have with abstract art or avant-garde uh things like that that are like what what is the meaning what is the concept i think in sometimes it is uh actually really good like whoever it just depends on whatever you're doing because if you say abstract art it could be so many things but sometimes it's like okay this is this is actually genius other times it's like ah, it's it's really just it's nothing like uh, taping a banana to to a wall with duct tape that to me is 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 nothing it's not making you know uh, but in his case he's kind of um somebody that you have to get used to to understand him like if this was your first time ever watching Porter you would be like ah oh, what what is what is happening all these effects the video the the guy talking here who by the way who is that one of his friends I'm not sure I recognize that voice and I think there was a second voice here somewhere in the middle aside from Porter's so there's three people as far as I know talking in this video and it's like what this is this is not this is just weird it's like they're having this inner dialogue and and going back to this memory but uh, you know you're not given any context so how can you catch on it's like an it's like a musical art project something like that but in his case you know since he has experience of course uh you guys mentioned he is basically a, a, a legend in the edm you know uh genre and um maybe he's gotten to that point where it's like this is past his regular phase and he's going into exploration mode i've seen that with several artists where they're they have their different uh phases right and this might be his most experimental phase i don't know i will have to go back and listen to his other work but it may seem like eh, you know i'll just try something really outside the box and and see what happens so i think that's what we have here i'm, I'm trying to understand if you guys have more context to the song feel free to you know to comment it and and let me know but uh, i think for now that that will be all thank you for watching i appreciate it if you have suggestions comment down below hit the like subscribe share recommend ring the bell so many things at once and at the end do a flip till the next thanks for watching